Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Guy and in today's video I'm bringing you guys another episode of Species Spotlight and today's spotlight is on the Velvet Swimming Crab. So um, I hope you enjoy this video and if you do please leave a like and if you are new around here please hit that subscribe button as it will greatly help me out and we are nearing 200 subscribers which is absolutely insane so if you are new please hit that subscribe button and that would be amazing. So um, that's enough intro for me and let's go and find some more Velvet Swimming Crabs. So, the velvet swimming crab, or Nacora puba, is another one of the common crab species you'll find around our coastlines. They are typically brown in colour with blue lines running down their legs, bluish claws and bright red eyes. The top of the carapace has a fine velvety texture, hence the name. Their distribution stretches to every corner of the UK's coastlines and are found at varying depths, although I couldn't actually find how deep they can possibly go. But you'll typically find them under rocks, small boulders or rock pools when you're out on the shore. Like all other swimming crabs, their rear pair of legs are flattened and act as paddles, allowing them to quickly move through the water. I found this quite interesting. This is an egg carrying female which was also missing a claw and a lot of legs too. These crabs are also known as the devil crab. This is because of their demonic looking eyes and the very feisty and aggressive behaviour that they always tend to show. I honestly wouldn't recommend picking these guys up unless you are totally comfortable picking up and holding crabs, as they can give you a nasty pinch which is typically more painful compared to other crab species. As well as this, the carapace can reach up to 10cm in length, which you may find difficult to hold. Their ability to travel quickly through the water makes them excellent predators. They have been known to feast on small fish and prawns, as well as worms, clams and sea snails. So that's everything you need to know about the velvet swimming crab. I hope you all enjoyed and learned something new. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. 